hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in today's video i want to talk about how people have uh, been accusing ned Woku of using regina for fame and uh, to win election so a lot of you, if you don't know who he is, he's a politician. Um, a lot of people didn't know him. I didn't know. A lot of people didn't know him until he married a Nigerian uh, actress who I too didn't know her. She too was not. I do not believe Regina herself. That's the actress he, he married. Um, she wasn't this popular before she married Ned. So their marriage made them popular because then people were saying she had not even got up to 18. As at that time, you know, her father came out and basically cried out. That's the thing about poverty. What can he do? A rich man you know comes and is uh, marrying his daughter and his approval is not needed because who is he is whatever the father came out and cried out and said his daughter was not um even up to 18 yet he came out and he spoke and he said that he knows ned Woku, you know and all of that that's in the past anyways but the girl went ahead with the support of her mother and married the ned Woku. so and since then they the story made them blow up because of the age gap the man is about 40 years older than her right he's in his 60s and as at now because their marriage is about a few years old now as at now the girl is about in her 20s but uh, that made them blew up uh, the, the man became someone that people knew and uh, the next thing he did i went for an election recently and he won the election and people are saying it's all because now he is a known face because of the fame and everything he got from marrying regina and uh, he has said he's a polygamous man but uh, as far as we know, he has two wives left. He has married several times before. Nobody knows how many he has married before. But we know he has other children from other women. But now, as far as we can tell, there are only two wives left. And there's a report that the Moroccan wife, the other wife, before the Regina, that uh, she did a live stream. They said she did a live stream on Instagram in which she said that they, when she married him, she met no wife. She was the only wife with him until Regina came. Long story short, before we knew it, the one day they came out and they said the Moroccan wife, Layla, and the man, has a, they broke up and they divorced and all of that. And the story went viral. Next thing, she's back now and everything. Now the man, finally, he has won his election. And after that, people started seeing more of him with Layla. There was a one that of him, two of them holding hands, two of them in a private jet. The things people were not really seeing, you know, before. So people now see that he used Regina to get fame and uh, pretended to be breaking up with the other wife to please regina and all of that now that he has gotten what he wanted and gotten the election i mean won the election and everything gotten into this political power he's now going back to the love of his life <laughs> He's not going back to the love of his life. The Moroccan wife and finally begin to publicly show affection because he already got what he wants. And let me just read some of the comments that I saw, but I screenshot comments for this video but i just felt like i never got the chance to go back and screenshot a lot of them so many comments going through all of them so this comment says leila for ned woko is epitome of love and beauty why regina for ned is epitome of fame to the grass root you understand when you think about politics you have to you know what i mean you know so he says that uh, because you see, the, the Layla lady seems to be calmer and a lot of men like that kind of a calm. She appears to be, for what we're saying, a very humble, quiet, no wahala kind of a personality. So this is, I don't know, this must be why people feel like, you know, she is uh, the real one that he really loves and feels at peace with. But when it comes to fame, he needs Regina for. And he says, Layla is more of a wife for Ned, while Regina is more of an office secretary to Ned. See that comment? Layla is taking Ned to international level. Why Regina is taking Ned to national level? Regina is like the family ATM machine. Why Layla is the family ATM card? Regina refill why Layla with... <laughs> This comment says she will get attention now because everybody know their boundaries now not before she was trying to be friends to be friends regina they try to do friendship thing you know it says everybody did their lane polygamy drama no they finish uh, if you're not nigerian the drama in polygamy never has an end um, then this one says he only used regina for his politics now he got what he wanted She's about to be relegated to the background. Polygamy ends for the week. <laughs> Polygamy ends for the week. 
Hey, she didn't keep me. <laughs> of course, it's not for the week. We are the weak ones. I be we. I surrender. Hands up. I am one of the weak. I beg, if you're one of the weak like me, say I am. I am weak. <laughs> we are weak, or we don't be do poly. <laughs> I don't want to start laughing. We don't be do polygamy. I beg, all the weak ones, raise your hand in the comment section and say I am weak. <laughs> Let those that are strong, God, let them do polygamy. Uh -huh. This one says, Lafi Kiki. The Moroccan wife knows her place very well. That was after she posted the picture of her and the man holding hands. It's like she knows her place in the man's life. You know, Agaracha, you know my language. They say Agaracha must come back. You know, Agaracha, how do you translate that? Like, hi, Chineke, how do I? I don't know how to explain it. So uh, um, it's like they eventually went back to where he has peace. Then he says, she was married before her, meaning the Leila, the Moroccan wife, was married before Regina, the Nigerian one. Uh, so, I don't see why it's funny. She deserves the best. Okay? This one says, I pray God will strengthen Ned to marry another wife on top of Regina. So, she will pipe down. Her own is too much. <laughs> this one says, Nigeria comment section. This one says, Ned used Regina to achieve his political needs. This one says, Regina wants to look like she is better than the other wives. She should calm down, please. And remember, she is the sixth wife and not the only wife. There are five other wives before her. Hmm. This one says, Leila hosted ambassadors, consular officers of uh, Morocco and some other Arab countries with Ned. One is obviously more sophisticated than the other. And he needs the more sophisticated one now that Anioma is conquered. Right, he has already won the election of the being the senate representing Anioma. So that's saying that the Moroccan wife is more sophisticated. Right? This one says Regina na national wife. Why Leila is an international wife. And this one says Leila is Muslim, thus polygamy normal for her. Regina Christian believed she married Ned because of money, more fame. Which to a greater extent, let me tell you guys. Someone like Leila that comes from a Muslim country where polygamy is practiced is normal to people like that. And I can bet you that people like that can cope. They can cope better with polygamy because for them is as basic as using your right hand to eat if you're right-handed. Do you know what I mean? A lot of them are born into polygamy. A lot of them is normal. It's all of that. They may not even have the kind of jealousy that you see in some part of the world because it's of how normal it is. And I, I don't know, I've never been to Morocco, but there are Muslim countries where they actually do it the Muslim way because they say Islam says you have to treat them equally. You don't carry one above the other. And I feel like maybe that may make all the women feel happy and content because the jealousy may not be there i know they morocco i don't know how but i'm just saying this is what i think but for a christian lady a christian girl that uh, did not grow up in polygamy and under normal circumstance someone like as young as regina as whatever everything wants about regina we wouldn't be a cup of tea of someone like that typically let's be honest and uh, if you think about it, pepper them thing, in Nigerian pepper them, how do you translate pepper them? Pepper them is almost like, you know, the way show off, you know, when women show off to show that I am the one that is this, I am the one that is that, and all of that. Someone like uh, Leila, the Moroccan wife, may not feel it that much because she grew up in the polygamy, but someone that is not a Christian girl may not be able to cope as much as someone that, you know, grew up in that culture and is used to it, may be comfortable with it. I don't know, I saw that and I, you know, no way. So that's you read some comments, you begin to say, mm, 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 because truly, this man was not this arm in arm with Leila before. He wasn't. So why is it now like this with Leila after he has already won the election? Like some people are saying, could it be that truly all the other things he was doing all this time, could it be that it was all about, let me make Regina feel more special. Let me make Regina feel like I don't care about this one. So that she can be what I want her to be. So that I can win this election. So that I can, you know, forge my political ambitions and everything. You know what I mean? Let me tell you guys, it can happen. That a man can marry a woman for a specific reason. Do you know that in our time of our, our foremothers and our forefathers, there are some of our, even our, it is our mothers, them, them, them. Our foremothers that would have even, maybe they have one problem. Some of them, after they had a child, they had a polar. It happened. Or they have one problem or the other. Gyny problems. And then, for that reason, they cannot do bedroom dance. And then they decide that, you know what? They say their husband, marry another wife for that reason. And the man can say, oh, okay. They agree. 
because okay I, I just want my husband to get another wife to look after him in that department and then they, it happens they go and marry another wife for that and that new wife comes to play that role but on the inside the who they love is still their wives so it happened that men can actually marry somebody else for one reason or the other but they know where their peace of mind is they know the woman that they are like this with so it can't happen that maybe in this case that's what it is that Ned Walker and this lady are like this, you know, and all of that. But he needed Regina for p politics and fame. And yeah, I have that. She plays this role. I, I love the fact that I can get this with Regina, but I love what I have with my Moroccan wife. And if truly what they said that she's the only wife that has been with him for many years, it may show you that, let me tell you, they were married for 10 years and he did not polygamy that time for a long time. To be with her for 10 years without marrying somebody else. And then marry somebody else and started chasing political office. with Not even just chasing. Putting that person in front. Do you know how much he has been using Regina for all his campaign? He takes Regina everywhere for all those political campaigns. At the end of the day, you can call it a win-win situation. He got what he wants from Regina. Regina is getting what she wants. So she's getting a lot of people did not know Regina this much until she married him. And, you know, endorsements and everything has increased since then. And uh, she's getting more fame, like I said. And uh, she's he's a rich man and she's getting a comfortable life and everything. Is it not trade by butter? Is it not, is it not trade by butter? Eh? It's trade by butter now. I don't know what you guys think. Do you think Ned Woko is actually in love with Regina? Or do you think he's in love with what he can achieve with Regina and, uh, you know, the fame, popularity, and uh, political office, and all of that, and that uh, Leila is the real love of his life? I don't know what your opinions are. Whatever your opinions are about this, as always, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.